showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Pitbull. And today we're making chana dal with zucchini. Now this is another great way to get your veggies and your protein all in one shot. And here's what you'll need. One cup chana dal. Two small zucchini, diced, approximately half a pound. Three cups water. Salt to taste. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 tablespoon oil, half teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 pinch asafoetida or hing, 2 cloves garlic finely chopped, 1 teaspoon grated ginger, green chilies to taste, half a medium onion finely chopped, 1 medium tomato diced, cilantro finely chopped for garnishing. For the chana dal, We've uh, gone ahead and washed our chana dal uh, very well and we've soaked it for approximately an hour and we've drained out the water and we're going to just and put it in the pressure cooker and the zucchini the water some salt and the turmeric powder and we're going to turn on this, uh, the stove on medium heat and uh, close up the pressure cooker cook it for we'll give it one whistle and uh, then let the pressure go away open it up and we'll take it from there All right. Okay, it's whistled once, so we'll go ahead and switch off our stove. So while the pressure is actually going down on the pressure cooker, we're going to go ahead and start off on our uh, seasoning. We've got a skillet on medium heat. We're going to go ahead and put in the oil. Now this is the tarka. We're using oil for this, but it's absolutely okay to use ghee. Entirely your choice. Alright, it's hot. We're going to go ahead and put in the cumin seeds. And allow them to sizzle. The cumin has such a wonderful mm. uh, aroma. At it's one time, it's smoky. Yes, yeah, the smoky it's very nice. It's really nice. It's beautiful. All right, I think we're ready for the asafoetida. Now, asafoetida is good for digestion. So it's and chana dal is a little heavier mm -hmm. dal, so this will kind of help with that. And the, here's the onions. We're also going to go ahead and add in the ginger, garlic, and the green chilies. That's the ginger. That's the chopped garlic. And green chilies to taste. And now we're going to cook it so until it's a little translucent. Alright, the onions are ready. Mm -hmm. And we have our tomatoes. Now we don't want to overcook the tomatoes, we like the color, we like the look of it and we want to keep them as, uh, you know, diced, whole, <laughs> yes. So just a minute or so. Okay, that looks just about done, so we're going to check on our bell. Wow, oh, perfect. And we can go ahead and add in our seasoning into the belt. Give it a good mix and we're going to cook it for another 5-6 minutes. And uh, chana dal actually soaks in a lot of uh, water. So it may look like a lot right now but after the 5 minutes of cooking, it'll it all be good. Yes. It's actually such a pretty color. Yeah. The zucchini and the tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. yes. Very that's pretty a, combination. Yep, I love it. It's such a very, it's such a simple, hearty right. dal. We can also go ahead and check our salt at this time. This one. I get to do the honors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Great. So we're gonna let this cook for another couple of minutes, and we'll see you back. 
So our chana dal with zucchini has been cooking for about uh, five to six minutes. Right. Looks perfect. Perfect consistency. And um, you can have it with rice. Actually, at this stage, you can have it with rice. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to have it with chapatis or with the bread or something, you can, uh, you know, cook it a little bit more and you get a little thicker. And all we need is garnish. Mm -hmm. Here's our fresh cilantro. Yes. Yummy. Turn off the stove. Yep. And we are good to go. <laughs> So join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.